AT&T is the nation's fastest 3G network, so you can download faster on your smartphone than Verizon. With 4G from Sprint, I can download files up to 10 times faster than 3G. Upload 10 photos in a minute. Verizon 4G LTE. Get ready for more ads like those. The wireless industry is in a race to roll out 5G service. Now, 5G is supposed to be up to 100 times faster than current data speeds. Could have used it on Amtrak yesterday. But it requires cell phone tower equipment to be closer to users than ever before. And that is causing outrage and alarm in some neighborhood as antennas go up around the homes. Tony DeCoppola is here with both sides of the conversation. Tony, lots of chatter about this. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. There's outrage, but there's also excitement. I mean, yeah. 100 times faster. But well, get this, wireless companies in the U.S. say they'll have to install about 300,000 new antennas for the rollout of 5G. That is roughly equal to the total number of cell phone towers built over the past three decades. The faster network could create new potential for work and play, but it's also leading to new concerns. Go. <laughs> At a lab in New York, Verizon invited us to meet some of the entrepreneurs developing tools to run on the next generation of wireless technology. How important is 5G to your mission? 5G is extremely important. Jonathan Reeves demonstrated his product, Arvizio. As you move around, the object stays fixed in space. Look at that. That's amazing. Allowing users in different locations to interact with 3D images projected through a lens. Today we, do, we can do this using Wi-Fi technology and we can do it using landline technology. But of course you're then tied to particular locations. With 5G now we can begin to extend this so we can actually begin to start doing this on building sites. We can start doing it on the factory floor. So it really opens up a whole new world. But before this world can become reality, this one needs to change. 5G requires the installation of new equipment across the U.S. So this pole here is 5G. This is the future right here. You got it. Every wireless company is working to build its own 5G network. Melissa Arnoldi leads AT&T's efforts. If you don't already have one of these in your neighborhood, yep. they're coming. That's absolutely right. They're coming. She says 5G uses high frequency waves that support faster speeds, but don't travel as far as current wireless frequencies. So instead of relying on large cell phone towers spread far apart, they need small cell sites that are much closer together. We're going to use our existing infrastructure today, whether it's light poles, whether it's street lights. We're going to make sure that we don't make it obtrusive to our customers and to the citizens. Yet some don't share the enthusiasm. The cell towers are called small cell towers, but they're not so small when they're in your front yard. Donna Barron is protesting plans to convert light poles in her Montgomery County, Maryland neighborhood into small cell sites. This will cause cancer. She was one of several people who raised health concerns at a government hearing last month. This stuff is untested on kids. Their safety is not certain. These untested technologies are, at this time, not ready to be unleashed into our lives. Cell phone equipment emits radiation, but research on its health effects has been inconsistent. According to the National Cancer Institute, a limited number of studies have shown some evidence of statistical association of cell phone use and brain tumor risks but most studies have found no association. If you lose this fight and a pole goes in right here, are you going to move? Um, possibly. Either way, Barron says she fears property values could plummet when 5G equipment pops up. If a tower goes up right there, what's going to happen to the value of that home? It could drop 20%. And not only for this house. Right, for that house, that house, that house. And then pretty soon you go around the curve and there's another cell tower. They're all through this neighborhood. So it's going to devastate the neighborhood. Arnoldi insists her workers are focused on safety, pointing out they live and work near this equipment too. Do you have any 5G antennae in your neighborhood yet? No, not yet. I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for it. It's coming soon, though. It's coming soon. So I'm guessing from that reaction, then you're, you're very comfortable with it rolling out in your uh, neck of the woods. Absolutely. A absolutely. You know, look, this is our Wireless carriers have announced plans to roll out 5G service to a handful of cities later this year, but don't get too excited to really take advantage. You'll need a 5G-enabled device, which probably won't be available until next year. So our current phones aren't 5G ready? They're not 5G ready. The pole outside your house might be 5G ready, but your phone is not. Yeah, it's going to have to upgrade. Yeah. Tony, thanks.